Hello, my name is Regina Farmer, and I'm the owner and creator of Kimin. Kimin is used by many operations and is flexible enough to cover different workflows. With the online capability to log in from anywhere, it allows you to communicate with your applicators more efficiently, which saves you time and money. We're going to go to Manage Job Scheduling, and as you can see, there are jobs that are already entered into the system. This helps you see what's outstanding. It also allows the applicators to see what they have assigned to them. The applicator button allows you to see a report of the loader information, the chemical information. Uh, it even shows you the restrictive information, the PPE information. If you come down here, the second page is for the applicator. As you can see, we have a no spray zone here. You can even put comments on the map itself. Uh, I'm going to show you how to enter a brand new job. I'm going to click on the add button. Click select locations. I'm going to choose a customer that I've set up and I'm going to click search and these will show you the all the areas that we've already set up. So right here I'm going to just choose you can either choose the button over here or the actual map itself. I'm going to say spray area 13 and you can do more than one if I want to say spray spray area 13 and 8 and combine them. Click select locations. Uh, it will add our acreage together and if you want to use the schedule date as a tool, that's an option. And we also have another tool that helps you get things done quickly. It's called use the last recipe, or you can manually enter your chemicals from your chemical database. You can also come down here and assign it to an applicator, which is an optional setting. I'm just going to click save job. I'm going to click on the applicator button right here. Come down here. Um, I've got it set up to show my map for my applicator, and it has spray area 13 as well as spray area 8. They can print it out or they can log in online. We also have an option for pre notifications and post notifications. A pre notification either sends an email and or text that will let the, know, the customer know that you are fixing to do the work and what you're going to be spraying on in the area that you'll be spraying. So it immediately sends them an email or text. Whenever the job is done, depending on your workflow, the applied information will be entered. I'm going to click Applied Info. I'm going to put Driver Lee. I'm going to click Application Date. We actually do it on the 29th. You can come down here and put the time in. And we have a weather app that will actually look at the closest weather station to that area and fill that information in. But this can be overwritten. So if I want to send a post notification, let them know the information, including the date, the time, and the chemical information, and send that in an email and or text, and then transfer that to an invoice. Some people don't use invoices. It's an optional thing. And like I say, if you don't use dollars, if you just want to use it for uh, historical information in case you're audited or if you just need to know information and keep up with your jobs you can just transfer with zero dollars. Uh, you can print an invoice if you did need to print an invoice you can bill the customer and it comes up to a nice invoice with all the fields that were sprayed with all the EPA, applicator vehicle information, uh, an invoice where our complete accounts receivable. I'm going to go ahead and post that in invoice and all it does it archives it down to our posted invoices. And that basically is all your history that always stays there. There are multiple reports that you can get from your information. You can immediately get a quantity on hand of your inventory. Right here, if you want an individual inventory or just all of your inventory, as soon as you enter a job, it tells you what you have on hand. Another great report is a posted field application report. So if I just put like a particular chemical right here, so maybe they wanted to know where dibrum concentrate was actually sprayed. You could put a date range if you want. There's all kinds of filters that you could do. As you can see, this gives you a lot of detailed information of the jobs that were created with Dibroom. Our customers are our best references. One of them is Herf Jones, who is on the board of directors of the American Mosquito Control Association. He said, with no doubt, Kim Ann has helped us schedule our work beforehand and see the work that's been done afterwards. It's extremely easy to use, and it's also a wonderful tool to keep you compliant. If you're interested in a demo, please reach out to us by phone at 870-238-9222 or visit our website.